Friends, long time no see. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I appreciate you. It's been a long time. It's been two weeks since I filmed the video, about a week and a half or maybe a little bit longer since you've seen me. And I made a post on YouTube. I'm not sure if you saw that or not. It's in the community section, but uh, I was deathly sick. Well, maybe not deathly sick, but I was probably more sick than I have ever been in my life. I don't take sick days from work. Like I can go back years and years and years into my career at different jobs and stuff and not taking a single sick day. Uh, just before Christmas, about three weeks before, maybe over three and a half weeks, if you guys remember, I was sick and I did take one sick day. I was quite sick then. And then a week later, the week leading up to Christmas, or you know, a week and a half up to Christmas, I got sick again, and I took three days off from work, something I've never done before in my entire life, three days in a row. So I was like completely gone on the couch. I was just, I don't even remember what happened during those three days. And then on Christmas Eve, I was really sick uh, still, and in Christmas, I was maybe slightly just starting to get better, but there was a, de a definite good four days where I was completely just gone. So um, I didn't film any videos leading up to that. I didn't lead any, film any videos during that time. And then I've been taking them in the next couple of, I guess it's been from, you know, four or five days since Christmas. And I've been holding on to this the entire time. I've been just trying to get better. And today is the day. And I'm actually leaving to go to PEI to spend Christmas with my family. And uh, if you're not aware, my parents do live in PEI. I live in New Brunswick, so they're a four-hour drive away. I was not able to see them over actual Christmas, so we're doing our Christmas tonight or, you know, in the next coming days. So uh, this will be the only video for the next coming probably four or five days. So I'll see you again next week. But I wanted to get this one out because I've been sitting on this package for more than two weeks. And I, I, I like, you know how hard it is to know that there's a jersey in here and can't open it because you need to open it on camera. Like, I'm sure that's not a, a lot of a problem a lot of people have, but still it's, it's, it's time. I'm not even gonna hide it. It's the Montreal Canadiens hockey sweater, not jersey, hockey sweater. I made a video, video kind of reacting to those maybe four weeks ago, something like that. And I said I was gonna buy one, boom, here it is. Let's get it open. Let's take a look, Let's not delay this anymore. It's been too long. But I guess you don't know specifically which one. I guess I'll put it in the thumbnail, so you will. Let's haul this out, okay. That's just a receipt. Here it is, yeah, I got the barber pole one. I, I looked at them all and I thought, okay, there's no wrong decision. But is there a right decision? And I felt like this was the right decision because it is the most meme sweater jersey ever. Uh, I'm gonna call this a sweater for the rest of the video because I firmly believe that these are sweaters, not jerseys, but I can understand how some may want to call this a jersey. It is the barber pole sweater and it is extremely soft. I was very curious to see what kind of material this would actually be. This did come directly from the Canadian's team store. You can see a tag here, which lists the other kind of branding sweaters that they kind of came out with, the different logos and stuff. Come on, focus. There you go, you can kind of see that there. So I was very curious to see what kind of material, material that it would be. I knew it was gonna be a heavy material because most sweaters actually are, but this is extremely soft. It feels very, very high quality. I have no idea if these are going to be in stock much longer or even currently have not checked stock since I bought it, which was you know, four weeks ago. But the logo itself, quite malleable. It's not rigid, it's not hard. Uh, it's not, it looks like it's felt, but it's, it's not. Like it's soft and stuff, but it's not like the felt, like winter classic style. I feel it's more, it feels less, less high quality, but still good quality, if that makes sense. The stitching along here is, is nice for sure. Inside the tag, it says, says Trickalore Sports, uh, large, nothing on the back. There's no, uh, no player, nothing. Just, this is like literally a sweater. Just want to take a peek on the inside. I'll turn this inside out so you can see how it's stitched on there. I'm sure if you can tell from the lighting and stuff, but I mean, first impressions, very impressed with the quality. This feels very high quality. It's very heavy. I, I kind of want to try it on. So I need to find the best hat that matches this. I might not only, yeah, I think I only have three Canadians hats and uh, I think none of them will match. So I'll just grab a random one. Oh, it's a little bit big. I got size large. I don't know why. It's probably because I take a size large in regular, you know, hoodies and stuff. I am swimming in this. This thing is bigger than a large. I could have probably fit in a small, to be completely honest. This is just, it is very, very big. So 
If you do decide to, to get one of these, maybe order a size or two down, unless you want it really, really, I mean, it's it's very nice. If you're gonna wear a sweater just around the house and stuff, you probably want something a little bit uh, a little bit bigger than the normal, but it's very comfortable and uh, I like it. No regrets, I wanted this because I knew I'd never get the original jersey, or I guess not. By original, I mean like the one that they came back with, but I knew I'd never get that. And I saw this come out and I thought that was a really cool kind of thing that they the team did with with all the sweaters. I'm not going to buy them all. It's just crazy, but I, I wanted to get one, and I felt like this one was a was a pretty cool one to get. And I probably will wear this one around the house. I don't wear any of my jerseys around the house. I only wear them in videos. I don't wear them outside. I don't even eat near them or nothing. So this is a, this one's a little bit different. I'll likely will wear this around the house, but I'm still not going to eat anywhere near this one. This one's just a little bit more casual. Than a jersey, so I, I like it a lot. Absolutely no regrets, and I gotta support uh, obviously my Montreal Canadiens. So if these are still available, and you get one, please send me photos. If you don't get this exact same one, I would love to see photos of the other ones. I think there were four or five other designs other than this. So if you get any of those, please send me photos. Love to see them. My email is productions at postaboshow.com. You can also follow me on Twitter. I'm at postaboshow over there. Hope you guys had an amazing Christmas. Hope you're going to have a good New Year. I will speak to you again, or the next time I speak to you will be in 2023. There will be not be any Jersey Concept video tomorrow. I'm leaving in just a couple of hours. I just wanted to get this video out there to say hi, I tell you where I've been, I get this unboxed, and tell you that I'll talk to you next week. So any future video you'll see from me will be coming next year. So can't wait to talk to you then. Hope you guys are having a, a great holiday with your family, friends, or even if you're just by yourself. I hope it's a hope it's a good one. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Talk to you guys next year. <laughs> Adios.